All right, we are doing DMRD number one. Make sure you put your last name and your first name and your class period. We are reviewing the key concept of mean, median, and mode. Tell us about the center of data. We're probably also going to do a couple on the range, which is not listed there, but the range is how far apart a set of data is from the smallest to the largest. So we're going to start with this and it is asking for the range. So I need to find the smallest number, which is here. And the largest number, which is here. And I'm going to do the largest number minus the smallest number. And um, that will be the answer. So that is what the range is. It's the distance from the smallest to the largest. Now the mean of the given data set, I always say it is very mean to do because you have to add them all together and then divide by how many there are. So I'm going to use a calculator. I'm gonna do the best I can to make sure that I get every single number that's on there. So I'm gonna use my finger and hold it on my monitor so that I make sure six plus seven plus three plus eight plus nine, plus 10, plus six. Now, sit so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got them all. So there are a total of, when I add them all up, I get 49. To find the average, I'm gonna take that 49 and divide by how many numbers there are. There are seven points of data. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm taking that 49, dividing it by seven, and that gives us the average, which is the mean of all of those numbers. And that would be seven. So the range is the same as the mean, which is not a usual thing, but in this case today it is. Uh, the next thing that we're going to work on is remembering what um, place value is and how to round. So the key concept is I know that I should use place value understanding to round multi-digit whole di numbers to any place, which basically means I need to know place values and that it, it, if the number is five or above, I round up. If the number is five or is below five, you stay the same. So I need to remember what the number is, hundredth. So let's see, tenths, hundredths. So this is the number that I'm rounding to. I'm going to look next door. That is a six. So since that is a six, that makes this four that is in the hundredth, hundredth, hundredth place go up. So that means my answer will be 128.74, which is this one. I'm going to hit submit. View the score, 10 out of 10. So we are reviewing skills that you should already have. Um, it's just making sure that it's, you know, it's still in your brain.